We've been in Uganda for a few days now. Um, we started distributing grain and so many thoughts rushed in my mind and so many answers uh, to a lot of questions that I had, but a few questions that um, I want to answer right now that maybe you have as you're thinking of grain for pain and what are we doing here? And the, the one question I was like, really, what are we doing here? Um, this is apparently the most underreported uh, refugee crisis in the world. Uh, 1.2 million refugees in Uganda from South Sudan. And we are a very small organization. What are we doing? But today we had a meeting here in a, a northern part of Uganda with some um, ministry leaders that are taking care of, of the settlement here. And I heard them loud and clear say the mere fact that you are here, just the mere fact that you are here makes us believe that we're not forgotten. I've heard those words. I'm coming out of this meeting just a few minutes ago to hear them say just the fact that you are here means a lot for us. The fact that we are not forgotten, that people still think of us, still remember us, that's so important. So that's one question that I had a lot of times doing this for the past few years, making sure that even we're bringing 60,000 pounds of grain. You know what that is compared to 1.2 million people being in need here, not that much. But I'm learning that our grain was distributed to people with disabilities, to, to people that cannot help themselves, uh, people, uh, families with a lot of children that do not have enough food. And our grain, the smallest thing, 60,000 pounds of grain is not that much compared to the need. But we are doing something and, and my heart was really melted hearing today from the community leaders that just the fact that we are here there's the fact that you are here means that you still have not forgotten us that you care about us so thank you for supporting grain for pain i want to share and i want to raise awareness I want to share this with everybody listening to us, with everybody that really still cares about uh, the South Sudanese people in the world, the, un the most underreported refugee crisis in the world. We are right here. We are in a settlement camp. People from South Sudan pouring into Uganda to get help, to get protection, and we are doing more, much more than just protection and, and, and health care and all that. We're giving, re-giving people some dignity and hope and hope. Now, you're not going to see a lot of filming from us. You're not going to see a lot of pictures of a lot of images. We're trying to keep that at a minimal. I know what that means for us. You need to trust us that we deliver the grain to who we did. But we do it because of our values and because of the vision we have behind us for dignity and hope and love. And how do you love somebody if you just put a camera in their face if you just the only thing we're here really is to film. We don't we're not here to film. We're here to spend the time with the community. So Thank you for your support. We do wanna uh, we do wanna reach out to you to tell you we're here. We're here because you sent us here because you you bought one sack of grain and we're here to deliver it. We wanna thank you for your support. Thank you so much. We wanna uh, give a shout out to the Church of Uganda uh, that they've really helped us tremendously. Hannah Christian Aid are the ones that are planting our grain here in in um, Uganda, and with their help, we are able to reach out to uh, the, to the South Sudanese refugees. So once again, let's not forget about the people of South Sudan. Let's not forget that there are 1.2 million refugees in Uganda and they all want to go home. They want to, they want to go home. They want to go to their own home. Uh, I heard a really heartbreaking story today. Heartbreaking story. How can you hear these stories and not be heartbroken? And one story I, I heard is when these people here are forgotten as well. In Uganda, they're forgotten as well and, and they don't have food. They're thinking it's better to go in my own home to die. Well, let's not let that happen. Let's make a difference. We're a very small organization, but with your help, we can reach more people. Thank you. God bless you. And I'll see you at grainforpain.com. God, God bless you and thank you so much for supporting Ray for Pain.